Sixth grade, unit one, lesson one, tiling the plane. Number one, which square, large, medium, or small, covers more of the plane? Explain your reasoning. For the small squares, they cover 10 small squares. The medium squares cover a total of 40 small squares and the large squares cover a total of 45 small squares. The large squares cover the most area. Number two, draw three different quadrilaterals, each with an area of 12 square units. In blue, I've drawn a quadrilateral with an area of 12 square units and its dimensions are one by 12. In green, the dimensions are 2 by 6. And the third quadrilateral's dimensions are 3 by 4. Number 3. Use copies of the rectangle to show how a rectangle could A. Tile the plane B. Not tile the plane Let's go ahead and start with A. Tile the plane. My colors didn't match up well, but you can get the idea. When you tile the plane, you tile the entire plane. You don't leave any spaces or any gaps. And B. Not tile the plane. So when you don't tile the plane, you leave gaps and you leave spaces. This is just one example. You can leave your gaps and spaces wherever you like. Number four, the area of this shape is 24 square units. Which of these statements is true about the area? Select all that apply. A does not apply. This is more like finding the perimeter, not the area. B does apply. It takes 24 grid squares to cover the shape without gaps and overlaps. That is the area. C does not apply. Even though 6 times 4 does equal 24, you would need to multiply the base times the height of quadrilaterals to find the area. And in example C, they're multiplying two bases times one another. Example D is correct. The area can be found by counting the grid squares inside the shape. There are 24 grid squares inside the shape. E applies because the area can be found by adding 4 times 3 and 6 times 2. It's kind of like what I was talking about in example C, multiplying the base times the height of quadrilaterals. I've identified two quadrilaterals within this shape, one with dimensions of 4 times 3 and the second one with dimensions of 2 times 6. 4 times 3 is 12 and 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 12 is 24 units. 5. Here are two copies of the same figure. Show two different ways for finding the area of the shaded region. All angles are right angles. The area of the large rectangle is 10 times 6 or 60 units. The area of the blue shaded section is 60 minus 5 minus 3 minus 10 or 42 units. Now I've broken down the shape into three quadrilaterals. The quadrilateral on the left has the dimensions of 3 times 5. The quadrilateral in the middle has dimensions of 5 times 3. And the quadrilateral on the right hand side has the dimensions of 2 times 6. The area of the quadrilateral on the left is 15, the area of the quadrilateral in the middle is also 15, and the area of the quadrilateral on the right is 12. 15 plus 15 plus 12 equals 42. Just like the shaded blue area in the shape on the left, the area of this shape is also 42. 
Number six, which shape has a larger area, a rectangle that is seven inches by three fourths of an inch, or a square with side length of two and a half inches? Show your reasoning. Seven inches can be represented as seven over one, and seven over one times three fourths inches equals 21 fourths or five and one fourth inches. Two and a half times two and a half is the same as five halves times five halves, which equals 25 fourths or six and one fourth. The square has the larger area because six and one fourth is greater than five and one fourth.